human is an alien They get up to all kinds of strife and then they do it again He's a human, he's an alien They work at an Indian restaurant where they deliver the food They've got a boss named Mr. Sambesh He's not very nice to them He's a human, he's an alien One of them's Australian That's why the show is called Australian Hello and welcome to Mr. Sambesh's Butter Chicken Emporium How may I take your order? Okay, so that's two butter chicken medium One butter chicken rare, seven garlic naan Two butter chicken, a side of chicken with butter And three butter chicken it will be delivered to you in 30 to 40 minutes. Yes, very good. So basically, you got your butter in this one and your chicken in this one, and realistically, you're just going to be mixing them together. Okay, yes. And uh, which one is again the chicken? The bird with the feathers and the clucking. Come on, mate. Earlier you said you'd never been shooting on a farm and taken out a roo, only to find that it had a joey in its pouch, which meant you had no choice but to do the humane thing and smash its head against a rock, and now you're telling me you don't know what a chicken is? I'm starting to think you're not from around here, eh? Well, my particular origin coordinates may have some discrepancies with yours, but I do have another question. What is a...? It's like the verbalisation of a question mark, eh? Or a statement. Kind of like, yeah, nah. At the end of the day, it's just a bit of colourful filler, eh? At the end of the day. Tommy boy, here's the big one. An order has come through, it will require the big box. This is what we have been waiting for. You must deliver to 21 Cordelia Court. And you should take the grey one with the bulbous head too. What, what is your name again? I have a traditional Australian name. Mr. Jackman. First name, Hugh. Your name is Hugh Jackman? If the name is too confusing, perhaps we could drop the Jack and just refer to me as Hugh... Man. Alright, Hugh Man. We've got an order to deliver. I'll grab the Beamer. What is Beamer? It's my BMX. Up on the pegs and I'll dink you down to Cordelia Court. Ah, a BMX, like my cousin Matt Hoffman. I have a suggestion, though. Perhaps we could take my vehicle. It travels at light speed, has gravity simulators, and can create wormholes for travelling time, just in case we're running a bit late. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I don't know if me stack hat would fit on your bulbous head anyway. Alrighty, Hugh. I want you to take this one yourself. Get some first-hand experience. Now, you may notice that we're at a battle axe driveway. So there's two houses, but which one is number 21? That's the Pringle. You'll have to just knock and find out. Now I'm gonna go play around in your spaceship. Good luck, eh? Mate, those tires are as bold as your head. Mate, those handlebars are about as handlebar as your moustache. Mate, those wheels are as circular as your logic. Good banter, good banter, good banter, good banter. Good evening. Is this number 21, A? Yes, this is 21, A. 21, A? Yes, 21, A. You, uh, you got the stuff? In the big box. Have you got the legal tender? Yep. Right over the briefcase. Right here, right behind me. Here you go. Here we all, all, mate. Well, I'm glad that any possible misunderstanding has been cleared up. I exchange some goods with you for money and transaction complete. Goodbye. Hey. <sighs> What's that smell, mate? That smell is about as smelly as it. We're not doing that anymore. Hey, fellas, drug dealer here, here to trade some drugs for money. Mate, we just trade the money for the drugs with the other guy. And there's no other guy. What? I am the drug dealer of this city. The, the grey guy with the big black eyes and fingers that light up. You know, Boulder's head. Mate, we've been had. Oh no. The Don is not going to be happy about this. You boys know what he always says. Make sure all possible misunderstandings have been cleared before transactions are made. Wait a second. I know that smell. 
That's Mr. Sambesh's butter chicken. I'd know it anywhere. I've spent the last three years being an absolute butter chicken junkie, just fiending for it 24-7. Fortunately, my addiction helped me see the light, and now I only deal and consume drugs. Well, he's got our cash. Can you help us get it back? Yeah, sure. I got nothing better to do. Tommy, did I perform my tasks adequately? Did you exchange the food for money? Yes. Then yes. Is it customary to pay by a briefcase? Yeah, if you're a high roller, I suppose. Let me see that. Wowzers. He paid for the chicken and then some. That is one large tip. I mean, my dad used to work at a tip, the largest one in the Southern Hemisphere, and even he would agree that is a large tip. You did good, Hugh. Mr. Sambesh will be pleased. Speaking of, can you pull a U-turn with this thing? We need to go spend some of this money. You ever taken drugs? No. I believe my biological makeup reacts differently to chemicals than yours. I'll call me drug dealer. Two butter chicken mild, one butter chicken medium and... Oh hey, William, my old friend. You back for some more of the goods, eh? <laughs> back on the wagon. <laughs> no, Mr. Sambesh. I told you, I'm off that stuff. I only deal drugs now. But that's not why we're here. You're here for some butter chicken. Let me get some paper plates. No, mate. We've got some butter chicken. That's the problem here. Problem with the food? Too much butter. I give more chicken. No! One of your blokes ripped us off. I give you one free garlic naan and a half price mango lassi. Then we are done. Your guy stole our money. $94,000. The grey one with the, the watery face and the, the blue noggin. It was Jamal, wasn't it? Jamal! No, I did nothing. Jamal! I'm so sorry, Mr. Sambesh. Jamal! Please don't fire me. I did not. Jamal! I didn't do it. Jamal! I didn't do it, Mr. Sambesh. You are fired, Jamal. Oh, I did not. You have disgraced my butter chicken emporium for no. the last time. I didn't do it. I did not. We don't have our money. And because of that, we can't buy our drugs. You need to make things right. Get our money and our drugs. Because now it's double or nothing. Oh, I should take this. It's an unrelated business call. Hello, drug dealer. G'day, mate. Just hoping to buy some drugs. Absolutely. That's what I'm here for. How much were you after? About $94,000 worth. Look, <laughs> I think I can help you out. How about we meet in half an hour at the old quarry, a place where anything could happen and no one would ever know about it. And no one would ever know about it. G'day, drug dealer. Yeah, we made it to the drug deal. You know, the $94,000 drug deal that we're doing right now in the suspicious quarry. Hold on, wait a second. $94,000? Bulbous watery head? <gasps> it's you! Stay right there with your hands up! That's a gun. That is a gun. It's a drug uh, deal. Uh, of course oh. there's going to be a gun. I'm feeling anxious, Tommy. My nervous glands are starting to secrete the angst mucus. Oh. Smells like gorgonzola. You reckon I could get a bit to put on one of me pocket crackers? Cut it out. That's gross. I'm gonna make a f quick phone call, so sit tight. Hello? It's a drug dealer here. You're not gonna believe this. You know how I said earlier that I had a job to do that was unrelated to the money theft? Funny story. Turns out, couldn't be more related. I know, what a coincidence. It reminds me of the time that I found out that the I reckon we should get back on the ship. at my primary school actually ended up being my own aunt and yeah, they've just flown off. That's what that sound was. I I let them go. I feel really embarrassed about this. It's almost more embarrassing than the time I married my own aunt. It's official. We're taking the night off. Oh, we're in trouble, aren't we, Tommy? Sambesh will understand. When you come across a situation like this, you can't be thick. I think it's obvious what we have to do. We should give the money back and beg for- We've got to hide it. My dad used to have the perfect system for camouflaging cash. Welcome to the casino. He would hide it in all the pokies. He says that my entire college fund was spread out through a series of these beautiful machines. Deal me in, my good man. I've got 94 grand to burn. I'm sorry, sir, but this table is closed. Well, okay then. You let them go? Now we've got no choice but to get the Don down here. I should take this. 
History indicates that it may be of importance to our current situation. Drug dealer? Hello, this is Blackjack Dealer. I saw your message on dealerforum.com. Your men, the Aussie boy and the button-eyed grey one, they're here at the casino. With the money. Wow, yes. We'll be right over. Thanks. Hey, us dealers have to look out for each other. This is going great. I've already hidden exactly half of our money in these machines. It's just like the government always says. If you can't spend your newfound wealth on drugs, you may as well go gambling. Tommy, turn slightly to your left. They're here. Oh no, that's the dawn. The dawn walks in. Do what the dawn does best. Strike fear into the hearts and minds of the dawn. Danger, oh no. Who are you? I'm the dawn. And I think you have something that belongs to me. Give me my money. Look, we can give you a solid half of it right now, but... Oh, Tommy, I've accidentally dropped the money on this coloured table. 47,000 on red. All bets closed. You just bet half of my money. You better win. Or else... Winner! $94,000! Yes! We did it! Let's go again. Tommy, no! Fine. The money is yours. Every last dollar. Cheers. Now I don't have to murder you both. So why do they call you the Don anyway? Well, I'm the leader of the gang. The Don is an acronym. It stands for Double or Nothing. Very well. Double or Nothing! <laughs> Double or nothing. <laughs> Double or nothing. <laughs> Double or nothing. Very well. Double or nothing. <laughs> mm? Mm? Double or nothing. Very well. A double or nothing. A double. A double. Double.